It's been nearly four weeks since students arrived for their experience of total archaeology at Del Aco, a joint project of Penn State and University of Haifa. The digging is almost over. Some buckets of pottery remain to be washed. There are still a number of heavy flotation fractions to search through. But why did students from Penn State, Trinity College, University of Massachusetts at Amherst, and the Claremont Colleges choose to come to Israel and to Aco to do archaeology? I'm Chelsea Dim from Claremont Graduate University. Um, I decided to come on this trip because it's a transdisciplinary course at Claremont Graduate University. I don't have a lot of experience in archaeology and I thought that digging up and discovering um, different things about ancient societies would be really cool. My name is Logan Pace and I am a rising senior Penn State student studying classics in Asian Mediterranean studies and Jewish studies. I decided to come on this trip because I'm interested in the theory behind archaeology and I just wanted to see what it's like to actually pick the material materials from this, this site and to analyze them. My name is Eddie Sermon and I'm a master's student at Claremont Graduate University looking at my particular research interest that I would have to at some point uh, get into the land of Israel and you know experience the climate and the geography and you know an archaeological dig is a really good place to sort of start. My name is Nathan Silver and I go to UMass Amherst. I decided to come on this trip because I wanted a, a new perspective and this is from a more academic, more kind of non-biased um, perspective. I think it's really interesting to to see what we've come up with and what I've learned so far. Uh, my name is Mark Van Horn. I am a student at Penn State University. Um, I decided to come on this trip because I'm actually required to field experiences in archaeology for the program that I'm in and I heard a lot of good things about this trip that made me drawn to it. So how did the students find the dig experience? I think it turned out very well. It wasn't what I expected. I was expecting to be more just watching professional archaeologists doing their work, but it was a real pleasure to uh, just be able to dig on my own and to learn from mistakes and uh, just to have a greater appreciation for all of the work that the archaeologists do. Um, it turned out really cool. <laughs> I didn't realize that all of the things in the museums had to be actually dug up, but it was a really good experience and I made a lot of good friends along the way. Um, and we got to find some really cool coins and I got to work on the glass site around the city, so I really enjoyed it. And um, uh, here after a month of digging, I've learned I'm not an archaeologist, <laughs> but I I have had a really good experience and I think that I've learned things that uh, I couldn't learn in any other possible way. And it turned out really well. I'm really happy that I came. Everything's been great. I've learned a lot and it's been a, it's really been a really good time meeting new people from a bunch of different universities. Uh, it's really been amazing. Um, I learned so much. I, I really enjoy history and it's really cool to not just have a lecture where you learn about this group of people who are here, this group of people who are here, but to actually go out in the tell and find um, remnants and artifacts from when those people were actually here. Lauren Dorsey. I go to Claremont McKenna College. Um, what I was hoping to get out of the trip, I suppose, was a very different cultural and physical activity than what I'm used to at home over the summer. Um, what I've gotten was totally out of my expectations and that I could never have prepared for it. Um, I love the city, I love the work, I love the people here. What are you thinking about doing?